Today we're going to be talking about theoretical yield calculations and percent yield calculations. So anytime you do a reaction, you start with a balanced equation. And today's example, we're going to be reacting calcium oxide and carbon dioxide to give us calcium carbonate. And we are going to be reacting 18.3 grams of the calcium oxide with 4.4 grams of the carbon dioxide. So the very first thing we do is write out our balanced equation. I've already written it out, and we see here that it's a one to one to one molar, molar relationship, and the information that I've written down below each is the molar mass. So calcium oxide has a molar mass of 56.077 grams per mole, carbon dioxide 44.010 grams per mole, and calcium carbonate 100.087 grams per mole. So, with all of this information, we can calculate our theoretical yield, how much we theoretically could make. Now, the very first step is determining what your limiting reagent is. So, limiting reagent. So, if we don't have exactly one mole of calcium oxide and one mole of carbon dioxide, we won't get exactly one mole of calcium carbonate. So, what can we get? Let's start with the calcium oxide. So, we have 18.3 grams of the calcium oxide. We want to know how many moles that is. So, we are going to divide it by the molar mass of the calcium oxide, which is 56.077 grams per mole. And this will give us a value of 0.326 moles, okay? Showing that our grams are actually are canceling out and our moles, when it's the denominator in a denominator, moves up to the numerator. Okay, so we have this, and that's our calcium oxide. Now we go to the carbon dioxide. We have 4.4 grams of carbon dioxide. We will divide it by its molar mass of 44.010 grams per mole, and we'll calculate that out, and we will see that we get 0 0.125 moles of carbon dioxide. So, because this is a one-to-one-to-one -one -to -one molar relationship, we can identify the lower value as being the value of the number of moles that we can create in the situation of the calcium carbonate. However, we need to show this relationship in a calculation by 0 0.125 moles. So this, just to be clear, becomes our limiting reagent. We take that value and we show the relationship of it, so for every one mole of calcium carbonate, we want that to be on top, and one mole of our carbon dioxide, because this is also, just to be clear, carbon dioxide. We show that that cancels out, and that will give us a value of 0 0.125 moles of calcium carbonate. Now, again, because this is one-to-one, -one, it's easy to see, but if your molar relationships between your reactants and your products are not, you will need to show the relationship within this calculation. So now we have our limiting number of moles. So limiting number of moles, we say is 0.125 five moles of calcium carbonate that we can make. Theoretical yield. Yield means we want to know what the mass is. So we need to now take the molar mass of calcium carbonate and convert this into grams. So we say that 0 0.125 moles of calcium carbonate and we multiply it by the molar mass, 
0.087 grams per mole. We will see that our moles cancel and we're left with units of grams and our final answer is 12.5 grams. Okay, so this is our theoretical yield. Now we can do our percent yield. So let's say we do this reaction in the lab and we measure our final product and we get our final product and it is only 8.45 grams. Okay, that's how much we made in the lab. So we wanna know, okay, what is our percent yield? So we're gonna take our experimental yield. So this is our experimental. Okay, and we're gonna divide it by our theoretical yield. And we need to multiply that by 100 to get a percent. And that is going to give us a value of 67.6%. So our reaction, our um, percent yield was 67.6%.